Hey guys, today I want to introduce you to the GOATs of graphic design, the greatest of all time. This is a list of 10 designers, and unfortunately I'm not on this list yet, but I wanted to make a list that's going to impact you, that's going to inspire you, and hopefully spark something in you that it, like it sparked in me, which is passion. This video is to recognize all of the greats of our graphic design industry, all the people that have come before us, and the people who are still out there impacting and bringing a ton of value to the industry, and hopefully will inspire future generations and impact their careers in this industry as a whole. I wanna start by saying that this curated list is a list of my personal choices, my preferences, and you may have a difference of opinion, you may even disagree with me, and that's totally okay. But I picked these graphic designers based on three categories. Number one, their style. The style of their artwork was something that inspired me, something that I follow, something that has inspired tons of other people. Number two is their creativity. Are they thinking inside the box? Are they thinking outside the box? How far outside the box are they? I really wanted to focus on the creativity aspect as well as their style and kind of collaborate on both of those because I feel like these two go hand in hand together and they're very important. The third element here is impact. Now you're probably wondering what does impact have to do with the graphic design and what makes them the GOAT? What I'm talking about when I say impact is how have they impacted the industry, how have they impacted businesses, and how have they impacted other designers. I know for myself, a lot of these designers that I'm gonna talk about have dramatically impacted my career and have influenced the way that I design and the way I even run my business and where I'm going in my career. Some of them have written books, some of them have made TV shows, some of them have done some pretty incredible things, and so I'm taking that into consideration as well as what makes them the GOAT, the greatest of all time. So before we jump into it, I got a quick question. Who is your favorite graphic designer? Drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear who you think is the greatest of all time, who is a GOAT in the industry should I, that I should add to this list for the next video. All right, with that all being said, you guys wanna know who the top 10 are, so we're gonna jump over to my computer. I have a lot of their work already pulled up on my browser, and we're gonna go through these one at a time, and we're gonna break it all down. So let's roll. All right. So I got all 10 of these designers pulled up on my screen and I'm gonna do a deep dive in each of these. We're not gonna take too much time, but I wanna go over these so you guys can get an understanding of who they are and what makes them unique in these three categories. All right, so the first one, number one GOAT graphic designer is Scott Martin from Burnt Toast Creative. This guy is absolutely incredible. He's done work for Samsung, for Wix, for Google. I mean, you name it, he's pretty much done it at this point and he just popped up onto the scene for me. I just discovered him probably about six months ago. His work is incredible. So if you check out his Instagram here, which I would definitely encourage you guys to go follow him, he's got 269,000 followers. So that's a pretty big impact. He's doing NFTs, he's doing tutorials. He's doing a lot for the community, a lot for the industry beyond just creating amazing artwork. His style is brilliant. His creativity is brilliant. He's done stuff with Donald Trump on it. He's done some uh, motion graphics. I mean, the stuff that this guy does, like let's just look at this one real quick here. Uh, look at that right there. The guy didn't even have a face. But it's so funny, it's so comical. There's like an innocence, and I love the color palettes. He uses different colors than you see most designers using. Um, this little Trump one here, roasting a marshmallow over the earth is pretty freaking hilarious. The creativity behind this guy is just, second to none. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that does it on this level like Scott. So I wanted to give him a big shout out. Scott Martin, Burnt Toast Creative, go check him out. Has inspired me a lot when I do my book, my kids book series. I'm probably gonna be following a similar style that he did here just cause I'm so inspired by it. I love the clean, crisp, sharp lines that he does and I wanna emulate that inside of my work as well. So he is number one. Now number two, this guy right here, I'll pull him up. Let me just show you his, there we go. All right, so number two here is the one and only David Soto with AKA Dope. You can see his profile here, AKA Dope. He's also a curator for the Dope Type Society. Uh, he shares his process, he shows exactly what he's doing. He's making an impact and inspiring a lot of graphic designers. But look at this guy's work. I just wanna take a moment to just really soak it up because his stuff, like this don't overthink, right? So brilliant, motivational type stuff typography, logos. He's got such a wide ranging style from this graffiti style all the way to the super classy, sophisticated monogram stuff. I just really, really like his stuff. He's done a lot of really neat things for different brands. Like he did some Coca-Cola rebranding stuff, some Pfizer stuff. Um, the type of typography, Monkey King, like look how cool that is. Burlington, his stuff is just really iconic and timeless. And that's why I wanted to make him number two of the GOAT graphic designers. This guy is one of the greatest of all time, I think. And I think we're just really early into his career as well, similar to Burnt Toast and Scott. 
And so I wanted to make sure that he ended up on this list as number two. All right, so we're gonna jump over to number three, which is Alex Trochet. I'm gonna go show you his work. So if you just look him up on Instagram, Trochet, T-R-O-C-H-U-T. He's got his blue check mark and everything. He's verified, 100,000 followers. He's really specialized. His profile says digital craftsman, but he's so much more than that. He does lettering and graphic design and a lot of 3D stuff. I've seen him, uh, I've seen his work for a long time now and I wanted to add him to this list. He's even getting into the NFT space as well. A lot of graphic designers are right now and there's a lot of momentum happening there. But if you look at some of his stuff here, like let's just look at this real quick. Like look how much detail, look how beautiful this is. This is high quality graphic design. Looks like he did this for Tums. He's worked for companies like Pepsi, Nike, Adobe. He did some Adobe Mac stuff. And that's why he made the list. I mean, his stuff is super unique. He does logos, very, very wide um, style. He can really do anything as far as I'm concerned. Everything I've seen here so far, uh, it just really varies between typography all the way to really intricate illustration and design. So I'm a huge fan of his. He's even done some 3D stuff like this. Look at this 3D typography stuff like this. So I wanted to add him to the list. I love this New York logo. And I wanted to give a shout out to Alex Trochet. So with that all being said, Let's jump over to number four. Now, number four is Michael Fugoso, and I would not know who he is if it hadn't been for my partner, my boy, Ian, who does all of our videos here that you're watching. He introduced me to this guy. I've been looking at his work for the last few weeks and mostly today, and this guy has some pretty incredible stuff. Now, if you look through his work here, you'll see that he's done stuff for Adobe, he's done stuff for NASA, he's done stuff for SpaceX, and he has such a unique style, and his creativity is just incredible. Let's look at some of his like augmented reality stuff real fast. Look at this, it actually pops out. So that's why I wanted to make him a goat because he's kind of venturing into new territories, the augmented reality, VR, AR, and taking his designs and creating these multi-layered looks. There's not a lot of designers out there that I've seen that have been able to do it on this level. Look at this one here. How incredible is that? So this guy kind of really sets the bar and a new standard for graphic design and he just really is the future of where I think graphic design is going and that's why I put him on this list as number four because his stuff is very, very cutting edge. It's very creative and I know he's impacting a lot of people with his tutorials, his trainings and all of his stuff here. You can just see Nike. Some of the biggest brands in the world are using this guy's work and it's well deserved. So shout out to you. Uh, thank you guys or thank you for doing what you do and I really appreciate it. Uh, and keep up the great work. So with that all being said, let's jump over to one of my mentors and friends, Mr. Brian Ferry. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you his work because he doesn't really have a whole lot of it showcased. If we go to his website, you'll see here, he's venturing into the blockchain crypto world, but I can just tell you from my personal experience, if you look up his website, follow him on Facebook and check his stuff out on Behance. He's done stuff for Unison Solar. Uh, for Prodigal, he's done some of the biggest brands out there. Uh, I've watched his work over the years and he just continuously innovates and he actually just put out a book on graphic design. So he's made a big impact on me. That's why I wanted to share his name with you guys and just give you guys some context of how I know him. He literally is a legend in the space. He's done seven figure, figure deals in the graphic design industry and uh, he's definitely somebody that you should be following if you're not already. Graphic design goat number six. This guy is incredible. He's a legend as well. And that is Mr. John Alvin. Unfortunately, he has a couple fan pages on Instagram that people have made of his work, but there was nothing that really did him justice like looking him up on Google. So I looked him up on Google Images and you can just see here some of the work that he's done. Lion King, Aladdin, E.T., Beauty and the Beast, Blade Runner, Star Wars, Star Trek. I mean, you name it, he's pretty much done it. Uh, every movie poster, if you're a movie buff like me, you can really appreciate a graphic designer like this. I mean, Pulp Fiction, I mean, look at this list, Hook, right? He has done some of the greatest graphic design projects in the film industry you'll ever see. Uh, I can't believe he did the Lion King one, that one blows my mind, but Star Wars as well. I mean, some of the biggest films, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, like this guy is an absolute legend. He's worked with the biggest companies out there and he's even done stuff for like Disney kids movies like The Emperor's New Groove. So I just really think that he's uh, one of the legends I wanna recognize as just one of the innovators and pioneers of our industry. I've learned a lot from him. He's one of the first graphic designers that I started studying his work. So I wanted to add him to the list as number six. All right, so let's check out graphic design goat number seven. All right, so this guy doesn't have a personal page, but if I scroll through here, I can show you so you can see his last name here. Number seven is Sagi Haviv. 
If you haven't seen his stuff, I would go to Domestica and type in his name, Sagi, S-A-G-I, Haviv, H-A-V-I-V, -V, like you see up here. Check out his work and also follow their page. Their work is incredible. It's probably the most minimalist, the simplest, but it is some of the most impactful logo design and branding work you'll ever see out there. They've done super, super iconic brands. Let me just show you Animal Planet. This was one of their logos that they did. Um, we go down here, the US Open. They rebranded the US Open. Incredible work. So Sagi Haviv is one of the people that I really look up to. NBC logo, he did their stuff. So he's done some pretty huge, huge brands. Discovery Channel, um, we think here Chase, Harvard, Showtime, NBC. I mean, literally every major brand that you know out there, he's pretty much done at this point as far as the big, big names. Um, Mobile Oil, NBC, you can see your Chase Bank right here at the top of his profile. This guy is a legend. He has a really cool masterclass that I watched on Domestica. I would really encourage you guys to get that. Uh, it's somebody that I really wanted to highlight as part of this. All right, so now let's jump over to number seven. Now, number seven is somebody that I followed really early on in my career as well. His name is Jacob Cast. Let me just scroll up to the top of his profile here. You can see. So here's his Instagram page. He's got 41,000 people following him, but he's created some amazing brands, some really iconic brands. And he did this branding alphabet deal that I really was trying to find and show you guys. It's absolutely incredible. But Jacob Cass did the Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee logo. He's done tons and tons of really well-known brands. There was one on here earlier that Ian recognized, the I Love New York. He, he redid that one. Here it is, just a little further down. It's the brand alphabet that I wanted to show you guys. Let's see, here we go. So this is the one. So these are some of the logos that he's done. Work.io, TechSmart, Syndicate. Like look how clean and simple. Montage, Just Creative, I Elevate. His work is phenomenal. His process is phenomenal. And he really sets the bar very high for graphic designers. And he's taught and inspired millions of graphic designers with his blog. His blog is amazing. Go check it out, justcreative.com. And that's why I felt like he deserved the number eight spot, my lucky number, as the greatest graphic designer of all time, or one of the greatest graphic designers of all time. All right, so let's jump on to the next one. So graphic design goat number nine, again, like I did with, um, John Alvin, I wanted to show you her Google images because her Instagram really doesn't exist. They have a pentagram Instagram, which is cool. You can go follow that. But if you look her stuff up, she's the one that was responsible for drawing the city logo on a napkin and selling it for like $500,000 or more than that. I think it was like 1.5 million or something ridiculous. But her work is very iconic. Windows logo, Shake Shack. She's part of a big uh, agency called Pentagram and her work, she's got a a documentary type of series on Netflix called Abstract with an episode all about her. She's really good with typography. Here's that little graphic from that, the art of design. And she did the CNN logo, absolutely legendary. The Windows logo, Tiffany and Company. So she's really good with typography, really good with logos. And she's a partner at Pentagram. And you can't do a graphic design, greats of graphic design without putting Paula Cher on the list. She's just a legend. And if you love Paula Cher, let me know down in the comments if you're a huge fan of hers as well. Graphic design goat number 10. This one is super important because this is somebody that honestly is probably my favorite of all time artists. I, if I could do a video on just him, I would. But this guy has inspired me in such a major way and helped me level up my career. I've messaged him on Instagram a few times. We've gone back and forth just telling him how much I appreciate him. Every time I need to get inspiration, this is the go-to profile, so let me show you. So his name, and this is number 10, is Jeff Granito and Jeff Granito Designs. Jeff Granito Designs is on Instagram. He's got a pretty good following, about 59,000 people, almost 60,000 people. But he's well known for his work with Disney. He does a ton of Disney merchandise. You can just see his work here. I'll click on one of these. Like, look at the detail. And he has a specific and super unique style with the way he does like the splotchiness and kind of the, just the style. He does this shading on all of his artwork like this. So you got the, the Pluto and the, the little chipmunks there and Tinkerbell. But you look at just the detail of his work. Like, look how amazing his work is. Like, he is hands down one of the greatest graphic designers, one of the greatest artists, just period, out there. I don't think it gets better than Jeff Granito, his merchandise for the 50 years. I mean, he's pretty much exclusively with Disney. I don't think I've ever seen him do anything else other than Disney. Uh, and he's got something that looks like a little bit outside of Disney, but his work is just absolutely incredible. You can buy towels with this stuff, shirts with this stuff. He makes all kinds of merchandise, and in fact, he's at DesignCon right now as we are making this video. So I wanted to show you some of his stuff, and that's why I made him 
number 10. He's just an incredible artist. His shading, his detail, the time that he puts into each one of these. I can't even imagine how much time one of these takes. Look at this, this Lilo and Stitch. So one of my favorite artists and number 10, and that's why I saved him the last, best for last, is Jeff Granito uh, with Jeff Granito Designs. Go check out his profile, follow him. This is a big deal. These are 10 artists and designers that can really impact you if you learn from them, study them. And that's really the next thing I wanted to talk to you about. So those are the 10 goats of graphic design. And I'm curious, what was your favorite one? Which artist did you love the most? Drop a comment down below. Let me know who inspired you the most out of the ones you saw. Which one did you like? I would love to hear from you. So I wanted to tell you that being a graphic designer can be a hard job sometimes and staying inspired can be even harder. It's easy for us to get burnt out. We work till late hours of the night. Most graphic designers aren't paid what they're worth. And so it's really important more than ever to find people to inspire you. And so I want you to do these three things to take away from this video. Number one, all these designers I just mentioned, I want you to go follow them. When you follow their work, you're gonna have a place where you can go to, you can go look them up and get ideas, get inspiration, and really learn and become an even better graphic designer yourself because your vibe attracts your tribe. And the more you surround yourself with people like this, the more it's gonna impact your work. Number two is I don't want you to just follow them, but I want you to engage with them. When they put up a new post, comment on it. When they put up a story, comment on it. I want you to message them. I want you to start trying to build relationships with these people because they have programs and coaching and all kinds of special things that you can do to get involved with them and to learn because iron definitely sharpens iron and putting yourself in proximities with legends like this will really dramatically impact your career. And I'm speaking from firsthand experience because Brian Ferry made a huge impact on my career very early on, about 10 years ago. The last piece to this is I want you to invest. Not only do I want you to invest your time, but I want you to invest your money into anything that these business owners, that these entrepreneurs, and that these goats of graphic design have. A lot of them put out courses. A lot of them put out tutorials. I want you to make the investment and put yourself in proximity with them because if you surround yourself with legends, if you hang out with nine millionaires, what do you think is gonna happen to you? You become the 10th, right? If you hang out with nine goats, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna be the 10th. So it's really important to surround yourself, to stay inspired, to follow them, and to engage. It's a two-way street. You need to give back to them just like they're giving back to you. So make the investment, take the time, put your money where your mouth is, and go all in if you wanna be a goat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.